Hey guys, it's Kate and Alex, and we are back for some more candy tasting. Yeah, and this week the box has come to us from Germany. From Germany! So, we have already done two boxes. Yeah, one, one was, was Christmas. And then we had a second uh, German box, which was amazing, wasn't yeah. it? Um, and we have a third one here, which I'm super excited about. But, as always, should we start with the letter? Hello, Kate and Alex. I recently discovered your YouTube channel and already watched almost every video of you guys. I find it so interesting to get to know different sweets, candies and snacks from around the world and your opinion on those. Plus, you two are just very sweet, funny, and I love to see your sibling energy. Since I'm sadly an only child, Oh, that's a shame. You haven't got an annoying... Yeah, I'm okay. sure that it comes with some pros, but there's definitely yeah. some cons. My name is Savenia, is it? Yeah, Savenia. Like it. I'm 20 years old and live in a small village near Hanover, Germany. And your English is impeccable. Yeah, and your writing's lovely as well. Mm. Since I love to watch your videos, I was eager to know your opinion on some of my favourite sweets or candies that you probably haven't tried yet, so I decided to send you a box of goodies from Germany. If you look closely, you'll find a little number on every product. I wrote you a note for everything. I really hope that you two enjoy the sweets and candies I sent you from Germany. Thank you so much. Much. Although, Savenia, the, although nice this thing. box is a little bit bittersweet, isn't it? Because yeah. Savenia sent us loads of stuff, and unfortunately, for some reason, in the post, some of it didn't survive. Yeah. We, we have so many boxes that make it fully intact, but for some reason, yeah. and like some are a bit squashed, but sadly, some of the um, things were open and whatever. Yeah. So we have what's left. Yeah. And I'm sure this is still going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. I love this, and even this got a bit yeah, sadly. splattered. Uh, I love all the different colours, don't yeah. you? It makes it much easier it's to really read. Really handy. So what this you've got four. there is Rush Brot, translated Russian bread. I think that would be yeah. is a chocolatey cookie that I tried to eat a lot when I was younger, and me and my family spent the coffee time together. Oh, oh, that's that's nice. nice. I like spending the coffee time together, mm. even though cake. Oh yeah, look. Doesn't. Number one, these are my favourite crystal chips, as we say, with red bell pepper flavour. Oh, no. Almost everyone loves these. They're essential for a movie night with friends or if you're getting pre. <laughs> what did she say? On the drink. Oh, they're not like I oh, thought they were. They're I like they were chocolate coated as well. Chocolate biscuit. Hmm. That's so funny. I thought that was going to be chocolate coated. Oh, quite sugary, aren't they? Hmm. I wonder if we can find some of these crisps hmm. in the German shop. Yeah. And by the it's looks of it, it's almost a bit them, like like almost, a cake. Yeah, the end of a bit of cake. Yeah, it's Funny. like um, you know when you make cupcakes and if you accidentally spill some batter on mm. the tray, it almost looks like the bit that's yeah. cooked on the tray. And they're letters. Love that. Ooh. Now these are called Katie's, I think, even though that looks oh, like yeah. a J. It says made in Germany, but we've actually started getting these in Sainsbury's. Oh really? They're a um, gelatin-free brand. I got a little couple of different colours, are there? Mm. Wow. Mmm. Mm. Oh, I love the texture on With that. With raspberry, blueberry, pear, cherry, lemon, and strawberry flavour. I love the consistency mm. on the sweet cakes. They're like the bottom of a Percy pig. Mm. That's the bit I love. Oh, these are good. Mmm. Mmm. The consistency is amazing. I don't think you need gelatin. No. So good. They're a ten. 10 out of 10. Mm. What amazing flavours. Mm. What are you giving so these? Like a 7. I can't mm. work them out. I, I, I can't work out whether I like them or love I them. I think because I was expecting them to be coated in mm. chocolate. I've seen these Toff Iffy before. Yeah. Have we had them before? So, we get these in England. I've seen them. But I've never tried. The hazelnuss in <laughs> caramel mit nougat, nougat creme und chocolade. How was my pronunciation? Oh, do you know what that means? Toffee it fairy. Means... Oh, that's cool. Is I was going to say the hazelnut in caramel with nougat cream and chocolate. Oh, let's see. A little praline or chocolate candy with caramel, a whole hazelnut and toffee. If you'll have trouble on how to get them out, just push from the bottom of each piece and it come out easily. There you go. Oh, thank you. That was sweet that she gave us help. Mm. They look great, don't they? Really good. I've always wanted to try one. I love the bottom. 
Oh, that's really good. Delicious. We've got two Harry Bows here. Number 17 and number 9. Number 9, I'm not sure we're going to like. Harry Bow Kanchen, a little piece of licorice that are shaped like cats. How funny. Licorice is pretty traditional for the northern part of Germany and very popular around here. I love it. And these are like strawberry. Another Haribo sweet with strawberry flavour and some kind of fluff inside each strawberry. I used to love them when I was a kid. We do also sometimes get these. Yeah, I've um, never seen them. Licorice? Do you? I just wonder why they're covered, shaped like cats. Oh, it's they're be. like cats standing up. It's licorice, you've got to try... Yeah, sell it somehow, haven't you? Oh wow. Chewy. It's not the um, saltiest. No. Which is uh, quite a nice flavour once mm. you get in. Very chewy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's getting salty now. Mm. Interesting. Oh, I love these. I like a powder on the outside and mm. nice marshmallow in the middle. Yeah, she's right. It's like a fluff, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. What great flavour. Really good flavour. No, probably a 10 on the Richter scale. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 for those. Mm. And for licorice sweets, I'd They're say these are some good, of yeah, the best. That we've had. I'll probably give them a 7.5. Mm. Should we do those other sweets yeah, while we're there? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Let me guess is what they well, are. These are interesting. Look, they've got like 40% off sea life and things. We do that on our sweets. Hitchler. Hitchler. Hit she's. Hit she's. Hitchies. Hitchies, yeah. Cow bonbon draggers. That's original. Yep, so they are bonbons. Always had these when I was a kid and we used to take these with us every time we had a picnic. Are these gonna be like those ones you get in America where you turn the Oh the gumball thing? And they're like they're just Or are they gonna be shape. like Myconites? They're straw is it nice that flavour? Yeah. Strawberry cherry, raspberry lemon. Mmm. Mm. No chewing gum mm. on. No, Well, look, they've got Lego land as well. Mm. Married them two souls. Little Big City. What a delicious flavour. They've got Apfel. Zitron. Oh, I think I've got cherry, actually. Can I pick? Airberry. Timberry. Kirscher. Mmm. Wow, that's strawberry delicious. That's I think that's flavor. raspberry. Mmm. Interesting shape. Mm. I'll probably like a nine, you oh, know. and the green apple. Yeah, that's what I said, the apple. These are absolutely delicious. Mm. The thing is, they're not too chewy. They've got a nice shell. Mm. Mm. They're almost like softer Mentos. Mm. Mm. I'm giving them a mm. 10. Those flavours are delicious. They are good. Absolutely delicious. Okay, now we've got like chocolate things left. We go wafery, biscuity things? Yeah, let's go for it. So these two are the same, I believe. And then we've got this, which didn't we like almost try and Oh, this is the same Polish. company. Oh, this is a two pack, look. They're stuck together. Oh, yeah. This just looks like a kind of traditional wafer with some kind of vanilla and chocolate on top. And then this looks like they've like made it into bar. a bit more of a bar. Which so, should we go for first? I think maybe the plainer one. So Noppers are an amazing chocolate wafer sandwich with milk cream. Mm. Personally, I think they're better than Hanuta. The marketing slogan is 9.30 a.m. Noppers, the little breakfast. And then these is a chocolate bar with the same ingredients. This mm. is my favourite chocolate bar with, with the Wonder Bar. Mm. Oh, Wonder um, Bar. That looks so good. This is it? so good. Oh, mm. it does have a lot of vanilla in. Yeah. Chocolate, chocolate cream, vanilla, wafer, chocolate, wafer. Has it got like a piece of um, hazelnut in? Mm, I think so. In one of those sections. That's, that's mm. quite a good wafer. Really nice crunchy, isn't mm. it? Lots of vanilla. Crunchy wafer. Perfect with a cuppa. The hazelnut's not overpowering, is it? Not at all. And then this chocolate bar, is that a bit of like caramel I can see? I hope so. Ooh. Better or worse than that? I think it's better because mm. then a slight chew. No caramel, I think you've got more caramel than me. And it's covered in chocolate. Mm. 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 I'll have another mini bite. That's the best, like, wafer bar I've tried. Mm. That's not just, like, Kit Kat. Maybe chocolate. 
Mm. What are you giving those? Mm. Nine out of ten, both of them. I'm gonna go eight. And that's good considering I'm not a, like a yeah, wafer fan. Wafer nutty fan. Kind of like Kinder Bueno. Yeah, they are a bit, aren't they? Mm. Mikado. We get these here in the mm -hmm. UK, but never gonna turn down a Mikado. No, exactly. Delicious. And these, they've given you a serving recommendation here to eat them while on the loo. <laughs> Is that the brand Lou who do Lou biscuits? Lou biscuits, yeah. They are absolutely delicious in the chocolate bar form. Mm. Milka's done one and so has Cadbury's. I love Milka. It was Mike Stearns who sent us the box with the um, fake cigarettes, wasn't it? Yeah. He'd love this when he was a kid. Yeah, they're like the cigars. I'm having a little cigar. No, no. Mm. These are like the ones where oh, Cruella de Vil has yeah. a stick oh. and then... <laughs> On top of... Oh, I'm Cruella de Vil. I don't understand it how um, people in films can like talk and like with a cigarette. I'm recent, I'm at the moment I'm watching Bloodline. I'm doing it quite well actually. I'm rolling my wrist out. Uh, I'm watching Bloodline and like he talks all the time mm. with just like a cigarette in his mouth. Okay. Surely just get used to it. Mm. Can't Very go nice. wrong with Mikado. I think my favourite ever Mikados are the white. Then you have some with like the nutty on. That was mm, good, wasn't it? You love them. Oh look, like in our last American candy box, there's some lint yeah. bars here. Lint Hello, these are crunchy nougat and um, roasted nuts and toffee. I wonder if you can get those in America or if lint has brought out different mm. flavours for different countries. Yeah. Should we do all this chocolate yep, together? I think so. So what she says about the lint is, I couldn't decide which one I want to send you since I really thought both versions looked amazing. I haven't tried either of them, but I'm sure they'll be delicious. This is... Show getting. And then for that chocolate, she says, shot. How do you say that? Show gotten. Show gotten. Show gotten. Are little pieces of chocolate with nougat filling. Mm. I loved it when I was a kid since it's so practical to just have a piece. Amazing. All right, should we go for the lint first? Should we do mm. nuts, roasted nuts and toffee first? Yep. Mmm. Oh. We've got that caramel like last time. I prefer the that roasted, to just the salted salt caramel. Yeah. The roasted nuts aren't very strong, but I no. think they just help give it a nice texture mm. and a bit I love a the nice colour. flavour. Yeah, great, isn't it? What's this one? Nougat, crunchy nougat. Pretty sure our ones in England are really quite expensive for what it is. Are they? That roasted nuts and toffee is delicious. Mmm. Oh, that's really crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. This is clever because while Cadbury's are making their bars shorter and shorter, but the width is staying the mm -hmm. same, they've come out with a really thin bar that made it look long. So it makes you feel like makes you feel like you're getting more, even though it is short. Mm -hmm. It's very strange psychologically, isn't it? What is the weight on this? Thirty-nine, 39. grams. So that is about the same. And Cadbury's bar is forty-five. But aren't there some smaller ones? Mm, that's Cadbury's Dairy Milk, like a boost. What is forty-five? Forty-five. Oh, is it really? And um, I thought it was lighter than that. Like the double deckers more than that and like the boost hmm. caramel's 48 or something oh this is like um those lint ones oh yeah oh, they were separate. oh my word oh that is awesome and that's what she's saying about they're so practical what because you don't have to break them yourself you just take one like i love that look that is so cool and because they look perfect they don't look like they've been broken off no unless it means that they can get a lot more done mm. And they like shuffle them all together yeah. into a pack. It's funny because when we had the Swedish so box, good. she called something nougat in there, but yeah. it wasn't nougat, but that was their best translation yeah. of it. Like they said, that's nougat as well. I wouldn't say it was like a nougat, like you get in the Mars bar, like chewy no, and a it's Snickers. Like a chocolate, um, it, it's more like a praline, praline to me, yeah. like a soft melt in the maybe mouth. Maybe nougat just means something made with nuts. Yeah, maybe. What are those little packs there, Kate? I know, they're so interesting. I'm, I was wondering if it's like something you make. Like a drink. Yeah, it must be some kind of drink, mustn't it? Yeah. So, those things there are Hoy Browse. It's a true classic. It's powder with lemon, orange raspberry, or wood rough flavour that you put inside a glass of water to create a fruity soda. Adults even take a shot of vodka and put the whole packet in their mouth. No way. I haven't tried it with the vodka, but it's very common. <laughs> oh my word, because obviously turn it into a nice flavour. Yeah. So we've got lemon, lime, is that? 
So you put the whole pack in your mouth and then do a shot of vodka? Yeah, you think that's How so much. But should we put one in a glass? A glass? Water, yeah. What flavour should we go? I'm thinking either orange or raspberry. Yeah. Raspberry. Because raspberry is less. Should we um, try that first yeah. though? I'll try first. Less common. Also. These are interesting, like a hard shell. They're called Osterkunspur. Osterkunspur Madeln. White chocolate with a nut in the middle. Not really my kind of thing. <laughs> These are almonds coated with vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. Isn't it funny that we get lint in the UK as well, but we don't get anything like this? Yeah. Shall I go get some water? Yeah. It says on the back, only like 200 mils out. This tastes just like the lint chocolate. Of course it would, because it's lint. I'm not a fan of the nut, but the cream on the outside is delicious. These also remind me of Milky Bar eggs at Easter. Yeah. For me, I don't like white chocolate, so it's mm -hmm. so sickly. Is that 200 mils? Yeah. Fine, isn't it? It's half a glass. No wonder they can have it with a shot. Mm. Mm. What do you think? It's like a soda. That's actually really nice. Is it? I really like that. It's like a real subtle raspberry flavour. I reckon you could do that with fizzy water. Oh, and then I think you really you do have meant to do it with fizzy water. Then you really that. do have like a soda. Yeah. Mm. Or with a shot of vodka. I really like that. What do you think? I think if we did it again, I wish we'd done it with sparkling yeah, water. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to do the, with... the other ones with sparkling water mm. next time because that was delicious. And they're really handy because sometimes, you know, if you're not a big fan of water and you're out yeah. and about and you had a bottle, yeah. kind of like the crystal lights that I love yeah. and the things, you can just pop it in. And you don't want to buy a package. Or when right? you have a shot of vodka and you don't like the flavour, just... Yeah. Knock back some knock, powder. Knock it back. Ah, what a great box. That was a lovely box from Germany. Thank you, Savenia, for such an awesome box. That was so delicious. Gutted, not everything made yeah. it, but everything that was left was absolutely delicious. So thank you very much. I would have loved to try those German crisps. I know, because we loved the last German ones, yeah, I'm sure. so much. So we are sending Savenia a box of British candy back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. We've got lots of different boxes that you can check out. But did you enjoy that? Yeah, loved it, did you? I really enjoyed that, absolute delicious selection and those sweets are amazing so good can't wait to eat some those more. cat ones no not the cat ones no i was gonna no the katie's the katie's oh, they've got a cat got on a as, cat well. as yeah. well how funny yeah. they was almost like cats in german the cat with the um with the crown, crown on yeah yeah anyway thank you so much we hope you enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya